we call this the Toy Depot, um, and Santa's workshops in the back. We are very fortunate to be uh, located across from the food bank, so because we're doing dealing with a lot of the same clients. We set them up with an interviewer and we go through the application process with them, explain to them what we have to offer. We'll provide toys for all your children so that when they wake up on Christmas morning, there's something for them to open. We do Christmas trees and ornaments, we do wrapping paper, we try to cover all the bases for these kids so that they get to experience it just like the next kid in class. And we'll also provide them with um, a Christmas meal so they, they get to celebrate with their families. Our clients shop right up till December the 16th. Um, after that, we break everything down. We put everything in boxes. We put everything upstairs and we set up for our Christmas hamper program, which runs December 20th and 21st. On those two days, we'll give out 1,100 hampers. We uh, have about 190 volunteers that help out between the fundraisers and the, in, the, in the Toy Depot. It takes about between $150,000 and $175,000 a year to run this program. We don't get any government funding or, or uh, city funding, so every item that's on the shelf is donated one way or another, either through our fundraisers or monetary donations where we've gone out and bought it for them. You know, we make the call out to Red Deer and they always provide for us. So we've always been very fortunate. I never have any fear that we won't have enough. There's nothing like waking up Christmas morning and opening gifts. <laughs>